Let's go. Here. Yeah, I mean, they, they tied up his feet and threw him on the scales to weigh him, to calculate the price. Did you get the best goat? No, oh, Sufyan said a really interesting thing. The interesting thing is you have to tell them that what the goat is for, that it's going to be killed for an exorcism. The goat has to have baraka, it has to have blessing inside it. The goat had arrived safely, but as the evening's events were just around a corner, its luck was just about to run out. More guests arrived, and as the sun set, nobody knew exactly what to expect. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> All right. We just got the goat, and it's going to be killed oh. very shortly. Oh, okay. What do you guys feel about Jens? Um, my personal um, objective. Mm -hmm. In this, in this, in this ritual is going to be to get rid of anything that doesn't belong to me. Well, see, but Just, this house know, doesn't belong to you, man. You have well, to get yes, rid of I'm going to have to get rid of it <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow morning. No, it's it's also about the house, but I think it's also about the, you know ourselves mm -hmm. being here yeah. as well. So um, I know I know that when you live a, when the house is not you know is not occupied for a long time, yeah. there's some there's some you know some kind of energy takes care of it. Yeah, and uh, that's basically what you know cleaning it. All in Mexico, they always, you know, they, they do, they do, do, have they, they like do this? cleanings. Mm -hmm. That's how they call it, limpias. And uh, they, they, you know, they perform all different kinds of things. They burn things. They, they kill chickens. Not, not. Um, Good. Yeah. Right. The goat might be honored by the fact that we're sacrificing it. Well, at least in Mexico, we have this tradition that when there were human sacrifices, mm -hmm. it wasn't. It wasn't bad to be sacrificed, but it was an honor. They sacrificed princesses and royalty, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, yeah. but I think it was an honor because you were giving yourself for something a lot bigger. I mean, whether you're in Malaysia or India or yeah. China, it's uh, such a big thing in humanity to give, offer sacrifices it's always, always using a good omen, animals. You know? yeah. yeah. I know, and what I found really weird with this, this goat, was we had to go and ask the guys to find us a goat which had blessing, baraka, you know, baraka, this, this blessing inside it. So how, how and only, you, only some of them. The goat or how, do, how do you know if it's a Yeah, they were point? feeling the back and, oh, and, yeah, I mean, to me they all look the same and maybe they are all the same. Yeah, don't kill the goat, I'm not looking. <laughs> I don't want to see blood spill. So they're going to kill a goat here. It has to be done in the house. Have they chosen the spot? Yeah, this is the spot. There were mixed feelings amongst the guests about what was going to happen, but nonetheless, this was a Moroccan ritual, and whatever happened, there were no doubts that the goat was going to be sacrificed, with the aim to drive out the evil spirits from the walls of the house. I'm torn between walking away and staying here to see it happen. What makes you want to walk away? I've seen enough animals die, so I'm not sure if it makes any sense seeing another one die. And what makes you want to stay? There's a kind of, some kind of primordial lust, lust for seeing blood being spread.
which had been both barbaric and at the same time an emotionally gripping experience. But this was only the beginning of the evening. Now the festivities would start. Tari talked of people falling into trance. I couldn't wait. They're just preparing the goat now and it's going to be given to poor people. And then they're going to cut themselves and drink the blood and eat fire and do that stuff. And then they're going to, at midnight, they're going to go through the house purifying it. Because at midnight is when the gin is buried at